Hi guys, Phil here from Phil's Craft Corner. Uh, this morning I was doing some design work and I was trying to figure out what difference it would make changing the thickness of the stroke in Inkscape and then how K40 Whisperer interprets that. So my thought plan was does K40 Whisperer cut on the outside or the inside of the stroke line? Um, so here I created a file and I've got a stroke on this one of 0 0.03, 0 0.37, uh, going up to 0 0.5, 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5. And I imported this into K40 Whisperer and then sent it to the laser and I cut all of them out. And surprisingly, they're all exactly the same size. So as you can see from the picture, they're all roughly the 10 millimeters that I made the box. So all of these boxes are actually 10 millimeters. I just changed the stroke. And it seems K40 Whisperer takes the information from the center of the stroke line, which is quite interesting um, because then that only means the the only difference for the size of the stroke is doing the design work and figuring out how to get things to fit tightly or loosely. For example, if I had this 10 mil box and I wanted it to fit into this 10 mil box, um, I'm dragging it over there now. As you can see, that snaps into place right in the center of that line. But if I made a finger joint and it visually just in Inkscape that would be too tight of a fit it would they, they wouldn't fit together like the, the the first one wouldn't fit inside the second one because the stroke stops it and that's all it is it's just a visual so I recommend having a stroke of around 0 0.05 um, if you have your stroke at that, then this is probably as close to the laser kerf as you're going to get. If you get some nice fitting lines, if they're on top of each other, then you're going to get a nice fitting box. If, for example, um, I raise, I, I make this slightly bigger just to fit that inside there. Thank you for snapping, for making this very difficult for me. If I made this to fit just like that and I slotted them together, there'd be uh, an extra one mil gap around the box there. So just as a bit of reference and a bit of information there, keep your stroke to a minimum. 0 0.05 is a good stroke size uh, and all it does is change how it looks in digital time. K40 Whisperer cuts it exactly the same no matter what size your stroke is. So thanks for watching guys. Just a little bit of information there. Um, like I say, I am learning and I'm wanting to bring you along to learn with me and hopefully I can give some you some information that is helpful, that I find helpful. So thank you. Cheers. See you in the next one.